The Momarsh Lifeline Auto 33 PFD is a great way to stay safe on the water. It's made for duck hunters. And if you've purchased one, today I'm going to show you what you need to do before you hit the boat. You'll notice when you get the Lifeline Auto 33 that the indicator in the clear window is red. Red means it is not armed. These PFDs come with CO2 cartridges. They're inside of the PFD, but they are not installed, and you're going to have to do that. So I'm going to walk through the process of that. All we're going to do is we're going to unvelcro the PFD, and you'll see when you get to this left side, you're going to see a nice yellow tab that says cylinder for arming. So we've got to go retrieve that cylinder. The way to do that is just unvelcro all the way around the border, and there's a nice convenient pocket in here. We're going to grab the CO2 cartridge. Got it. And we're going to identify some of the parts. So we've got the manual inflation tool. This is going to be important because whenever we inflate it, we're going to need to depress this valve here with the cap only. Do not use your finger. Do not use a screwdriver. The top side of this cap is made to depress this mechanism to, to not damage the PFDs. There's some nice instructions here on the right side. If you need help, you can read those instructions. What we're going to do here is we're going to access this mechanism. So attached to the pull cord on the bottom right of the PFD is this gray mechanism. It's got an indicator. Red means it's not armed. Green is what we're going for. Green means armed. The way we arm it is we take the CO2 cartridge. We identify the female threads. I'll turn this around for you so you can see. It's right here. All we're going to do, be careful not to cross thread it. Take your time. Which begin screwing in your CO2 cartridge. You'll notice this indicator will go from red to green. Green means armed. We want it all the way green. We're going to go ahead and get that cartridge snug so it doesn't get loose. Now that we've got the CO2 cartridge installed in the PFD, we're ready to go ahead and pack this up so we can hit the water. Work the Velcro around the exterior of the PFD. Make sure all the yellow portion of the PFD is underneath the outer material. Take your time. Just walk it around. We want to make sure that it's all nice and secured. Just takes a minute. Once we get it all in there, just run your hand around one more time, make sure it's good. You notice I've already fit this PFD for me. It's tight, not too tight, it's comfortable. Everything's nice and clean, it's in the right spot. We're ready to go, whether we're hunting, boating, fishing. So, now we're going to deploy it. Once you deploy the Lifeline Auto 33, we've got the manual pull cord. In the event that you are submerged into water, it will automatically inflate. So, there we go. So once your PFD is inflated, we're going to identify the cap on the manual air stem here. And we're going to use the top of the cap to depress that valve and all the air is going to start to come out. So we're going to go ahead and hold that to a point where we can comfortably take the PFD off of us. We'll let a little bit of air out. Okay, now we can just grab the buckle. The PFD comes off. And now what we need to do is let the air out and we're gonna rearm it with a replacement CO2 cartridge, which we offer. And you wanna make sure it's the appropriate one. It's 33 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and get all this air out. It's all gotta come out, so take your time with it. So once you deflate the PFD using the manual inflator tube, go ahead and close that back up. Grab a new rearming CO2 cartridge. We're just gonna unscrew the spent one, we're going to discard that appropriately, grab a new rearming CO2 cartridge, we're going to locate the old one. You know it's no longer good because the indicator is red, it's got to be green. We're just going to unscrew the spent one, we're going to discard that appropriately. We're going to remove uh, and unscrew the bobbin housing here. Lefty Lucy, we're going to unscrew it, and you will find your spent bobbin. We're going to go ahead, placing the white side up in the bobbin housing. We're going to place the new bobbin into the housing. Make sure it's all the way down. We're going to take the cap, and screw it back in. Make sure it's snug. Grab our new one, put it in the same place. Make sure you don't cross thread it. Take your time. 
And let's go ahead and screw it in. And just like before, we want to make sure that indicator goes from red to green. Green means we are loaded and ready to go. And there you go. You can see it's turned green. I'm going to start on the bottom left, and we're going to work all the way around repacking this PFD. Just fold it over. Use the Velcro on the perimeter of the PFD. Take your time. Go ahead and check it, make sure it's all locked in place. We're ready for another day out on the water. It's that easy. Check it out, it's the Momarsh Lifeline Auto 33.